We are Kaiser Weikar, the pyres of the Empire of Bavaria, and we're back here in Crusader Kings 3. Thank you for being here, and we're just at a tournament, right? It's it's also interesting what kind of things are in that tournament. Here we have archery, board game ceremony. That's the question, what um, what was actually in these tournaments, right? We, we are here in December 1008, and actually... The medieval jousts, so the traditional with lands, and what you see in the in the movies, like with the lands, and they they run against each other, they fall down, and they fight with a sword. That was that was only started in the 11th century, and it was something really. It was dual like, whereas later on, after the cause of um, Crusader Kings three, like in the 15th and 16th century, then. It was actually a sport, so there was everything was was done to make it not as dangerous. But here in <laughs> in in the eleventh century, at the start of the eleventh century, or even before, there are no real records for these institutionalized tournaments with lances and jousting and all of of, of that. Um, it was still very very dangerous for the knights involved, and it would from time to time end with deaths and was. Yeah, but it was expected for kings and everyone like to be to be in there. And in that we're we're kind of privileged as we're not expected to take part in it, but we can take part in it. And that's pretty realistic because everyone took part in it then. And um it was pretty dangerous un until it after a while developed into some kind of a sport. So, uh but now <laughs> Let's just have a look around and see what we'll do in that tournament. We want to triumph this time. Uh, we'll see what we can do. That is Prince Eckhart II, the brilliant. Our brother is actually a favorite in this. But we, of course, are the Kaiser. So let's see if we can do something once we're there. Befriend mutual understanding. Much to my delight, one of King Ferran's... Curious has found me here in Arheim as my entourage and I make our way toward Krakow. He carries good news, for Furren wishes to formalize our friendship. I never expected us to grow so close, but he has proven himself to be a reliable and fortright man with only my best interest at heart. We're close to qualifying, and we're closer than ever. So we made a friend, King Furren. Arrived here in Arheim. I must begin pre preparing. I must be a victor at absolutely any cost. Well, maybe not at absolutely any cost, but it, we would like to see knights qualify. Duke Stefan and one of our other knights in Prince Eckhart II's archery contest. Yeah, <laughs> our brother's archery contest. We did not qualify though. Uh -huh. uh, we don't. Well, we won't bet. We're not a one to bet. We're we're a zealot, right? We'll just see who. Who is getting there? Ah, champion. Ratibo did not qualify. Uh, one last knock. We're waiting for the board game to begin, too. And who won this now? Let's see. That leaves us with a wing victor. King Emmerich of Germany. Wow. A king winning this. Usually knights win this, but this time... Really nice. A cordial hostage. I find a conversation with Gilbert. Our hostage, simply a delight, and he seems to feel the same way. We have so much in common and often feels like we share a mind. Yeah, he's also a sailor. During our lesson today, he hangs on to my every word. Truly a child worth calling my nephew. Wonderful, wonderful. He might become loyal to us. Loyal to the Kaiser. Why shouldn't you do that? We can demand a hostage from King Emmerich. Ah. Look at that. Melisende has given birth to a son, Eric Carling. Yeah, our son has that has that guy from Melisende. Mm. Eric Carling. What are we gonna do with him? He's yeah, he's quick at least, so it's definitely not a bad one, Eric. May you grow strong and what? 
And we're in the board game contest. It's clear who will be put forward. Uh, may the best win. Did we qualify? I don't know. Yeah, I'm in. May the best win. And we still want to choose something for the little one. Later though, later. Don't want to get a focus early on. He's a religious thinker. That is, someone could really educate him. Let's sort him, sort these by learning skill. Mm. Erich Rübsamen, who is a bold absolver. A seneschal is a hot honorable planner. Court artificer is a religious absolver. That's not bad, actually. Hmm. Oh, maybe he has seneschal. I mean, he's he's a comfort eater, but he's honest. He's patient. He's calm. That's. She will treat the little one well. And then we'll see what will be chosen. Usually, um, oh, look at that. Before the board game contest, someone has been caught in the act of sabotage. Prince Ekela dis has disqualified him from the contest. Much to his intended victim's delight. Shameless. Uh, King Emmerich became Duke Stephens. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh. Duke Stephen is disqualified from the contest. Shameless, shameless, shameless. But look at that. We can get a hostage from King Emmerich of Germany. Let's see. We can have Prince Wolfhilde or Prince Emmerich. Yeah, we cannot get this guy, but we cannot get her. Uh, we'll see about her. Here we go. Semi-finals. The Herald Booms. Count Rubeau of Tonnerre, Count Sigurd of Maastricht, Lutpold und... Uzicek have reached the semi-final, so we did not... We did not qualify. No, I mean, oh, the quarter-finals are over. I think we did not qualify. I see no choice. She will depart for Krakow. Yeah, so we've got Wolf Hilde here. She's traveling to us. And we should have a look around here. Because we have tons of money, right? We should try to... To build something. We have Regensburg still. We can construct something there. We could have marches, siege works, royal armories, jousting grounds, archery grounds. I mean, there's a lot of bonuses here if you see what kind of. That's farmlands. So, marches would definitely be something. But look at that, holding taxes wouldn't be affected here. Uh, what else could we gain? It would look real close. Our men at arms maintenance going down. Tax offices. Yeah, that would be something. Like it, it gives us a lot of tax. We could have tax offices there. We cannot construct that yet. <laughs> Though we cannot construct that. So the question is, should we should we construct anything there? Reduced cost for hosting the grand tournament. Men at arms maintenance. But we don't use many men at arms, so that's not really something was what we that we want. Could have the siege works, the royal armory. The siege works are good because it gives us more fort level, and uh, that's definitely something we we would like to get. Strategic marches. Hmm. Also gives fort level supply limit, so it's really a good thing. Number of knights for military academies. I think that's cool because that's like that's a long time building. Giving us more knights, just it could be like the tradition we have there um, is is helping us out. Two more knights. We upgrade that yet? No, no, no. Krakow. Yeah, Krakow. We, we will be able to soon do something there. Let's see. Um, military academies. A university might be coming. Mm. And we're already building stuff here. Mm, a city, a temple construction. Can we build more? Not at the moment because there's already so much constructed here. How about Willun? Mm. We could build something here. 
Let's see. What is that? That is planes. Uh, I always think a city is better in planes. Uh, but you have to see that we're a zealot. And yeah, that would also be great to have here, right? So let's build a temple because we're a zealot. It's, <laughs> it's just that decision. And then we have Siraj. Can build something here in the forest. Gives us defender advantage. See forest, forest, then we have plains and more forest. We'll start with a temple in the forest. Leshika, um, yeah, we still have money. We could have something here. We have plains or more plains. We can also start with a temple here. Here we go. Ah, Ushiek decided the game. A <laughs> wandering ath atheist. Oh my goodness, a fine contest. Ah, uh, Count Sigurd and Ushiek have reached the final. I will that no one guy here win the tournament, we'll see. Sigurd! Whooped in when Usyek made one of the classic blunders. Sigurd won the, the gaming contest. Count Sigurd of Maastricht. At least a noble, right? At least with the help from God. One to root for. Kaiser Weikart. Fancy seeing you there. I open my mouth to respond, but mana gold is too quick. I don't suppose you've got any favorites. Someone you think is going to take home the win. Me? I've got a good feeling about Usyek. Where is Usyek here? That wandering atheist. No, no, no. Money gold. Eh. Usiek. We could have a friendship with money gold. Uh, obviously, it's going to be Rubot. How's Rubot? He's chaste. He's arrogant. He's impatient. He's a noble, and he has a he has a really cool emblem. <laughs> Hmm, maybe if I just smile and nod. There's not a good choice here. Ratipo didn't even qualify. A well-deserved win, though. We didn't get anything going. I look forward to the next contest. Let's travel again. Finish the grand tournament. Emmerich won something, but we got a hostage from him. We can designate a guardian for our granddaughter. The zealous villain, my goodness. Zealous villain. Uh, how do you do, granddaughter? Who could be your guardian now? She's... What is she good at, actually? What is... She's, she's got a stewardship education. Is there someone good at stewardship? Shen Yo Chu of the Han. Yeah, we'll we'll try that, um, and we'll ask him to convert. She can learn something exotic from this guy, who is also now Catholic. A knight errand we meet on the road. My lord, the knight says, bowing his head, it is most fortunate that you and I came to meet at this crossroad. For I'm in search of a marvellous fountain which water is said to cure all illnesses. If you were to help me in my quest, I shall pay homage to you. Mechthild is quick to interrupt. Wait, my lord, I know this knight, it's Tassilo. My granddaughter. Mm, we follow the knight. Or we could make him join our court. He's a good one. Um... Yeah, uh, join the court, man. Join the court. He's a religious adventurer. Just what we need. Just really what we need. A foreign treat. Oh, what? I, I catch my dick trick fiddling around with some flowers he's been picking along the road. Sometimes I'd swear, even hear him sighing, overlooking Hogstorf's holding. My liege, he says. 
That's Dietrich. Oh my goodness, is Dietrich good or what? It's not a secret, my now heart has found a new home far from home. My soul aches for Ingelrade. What the hell, really? She's the spy master of Prince Bishop Sweater. What kind of spy master is that with zero? I mean, in, in theory, even minus one in three. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Is he is he crazy or some something? I mean, he's a cowardly gentleman. He also has zero intrigue. Oh, you're coming home with me. Who am I to interfere in higher matters? Uh, we have no time for such juvenile infatuations. We could convince him, or we could pick pick her up. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, pick her up with you. We're not, I mean, that's, it probably God wants this. God wants to get her away from her terrible job. And maybe that will save that, that archbishop too. I'm finally home. Thank God I can go inside again. What's happened now? Betrothed can marry. Our courtier and our granddaughter, Roman Zwischlan. I think he was a former um Yeah, we, we picked this guy up somewhere. I'm really not sure what Yeah May they find strength and support in their union. Indeed, indeed. We visited the capital of the Empire. 600 learning lifestyle experience. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. So now let's see. What else is there going to be? And what could be our great plan? Do we even have a great plan? In, instead of, I mean, we're we are definitely planning. Oh, look at that. There's, we could go and establish an Iberian foothold. Wow, we could do that. Why? You ask me, oh, consecrate. Consecrating the bloodline. That would be something. We would need to control one or more Catholic holy sites. Yeah, that could be. I mean, if they are in the wrong hands, we need to control them, right? So let's see. Um, Vaticano. Cologne, Canterbury. Let us see. Santiago. Uh, it seems all the Catholic holy sites are controlled by Catholicism. So it's not... We don't really want to do that because we don't want to steal anyone that. We could strengthen the bloodline. We need a beautiful and a physical trait. Uh, we don't have that... A dynasty of many crowns. At least 10 members fulfill this requirement. Hmm, yeah. Men the Great Schism. Whoa, that, that would be crazy. But we're not one to do that. I mean, that's the that's the thing that we could do. We could try to get a foothold in Hispania, but that's totally counter to our ambition to establish something here. Right. Oh, and we have this guy here. He's a chieftain. He's a vindictive maniac. But we cannot declare war on him. We cannot do that. It's really weird. And I could get into that. But for now... We grow our power otherwise. A new home, Wolf Hilde has arrived. Trust in your father, I reassure you. You will be treated well here. From House Ripson. I'll show you to your room. So she's already there. We could um, we could see if she kind of likes something. Um, no, we don't want to romance her. That would be terrible, terrible. We'll give her a small gift, right? So she's already uh, she's already good with us. And she'll just stay here. We'll see what we can do with her. She's a cold as black guard, though. That's gonna be interesting. 
The joys of wine. Ugh. Wine offense. And there's someone unknown. A bottle of wine is healthy for the body, replies Quasmuna. Wine offends God. It must be avoided, screeches Michael. The fearless of Bavaria. How do we like you? I mean, we his and who's Quas? Yeah, our court physician and friend. So he's our friend against our archbishop. Oh goodness me! Wine opens the door to, for Satan. A little wine keeps the humors balanced. Mm. The answer is at the bottom of this tankard. <laughs> Everyone will hate us. <laughs> Uh, drinking in moderation would we get uh, social drinker so that would help us abstaining from wine would also get us something going I mean, we're going for the moderation I mean it's also used in our church rituals a, a little wine keeps the humors balanced it's not completely zealous but you got to say every Sunday um, Engelbert, no, we have we have no garden hermit. Where is the garden? Oh, we have no garden hermit. Oh no. <laughs> is there more? I'm, I think there's only yeah. These three. We cannot fill these. We cannot fill these. It's unnatural, impossible, impossible. Carling legends. Oh, oh, I've been fascinated with your illustrious house, uncle. Can you tell me some of the legends of the house of Carling? Uh, yeah, um, I'm something of a legend myself. <laughs> He's impressed by us. Yeah, and he should be. We're the first Bavarian Kaiser. The first Caesar. We could get more claims. Let's see what's up for grabs. Right, there is. And we know that there's Lower Bosnia and Banslata. We could declare war on her. We have a claim on the Banat of Lower Bosnia. That's going to be our thing. She's totally isolated. We're going to take that. She's not really wanted by God, right? That's what we need to see here. Let's start here, raise the men at arms. In the name of God. I think we already got these claims. And we're back now with that Tassilo, our commander. Oh, that was the religious adventure we just picked up. Yeah, he could lead that. Could we ourselves lead that too? Yeah, I mean, we are, of course, even better. <laughs> Our brother-in-law even is a military engineer, so that's, in theory, even better. Uh, we, don't, we don't want a Cathar here. <laughs> uh, we would go ourselves. He's not good at sieging. Rapoto. Rapoto will need to do it. Um, we should march over. Let's go straight to the capital. Here we go. Our wife is looking after us, the Kaiserin. Oh, we have an invitation to Prince Archbishop Michael's hunt. It's our Prince Archbishop. We should really join that hunt. We should really join that hunt. Let's keep it open. What else can we go for? Yeah, we can call our head of faith. We can go for allies. We don't need all of that. We don't need it at all. We now need to join Let's see. Uh, yeah, we could hire a mountaineer. That would make it completely safe. We'll join the hunt. A fresh start. I cannot wait. While we're sieging here in Posiga. 
Is there anyone even trying to resist? I don't think so. Okay, let's see. Uh, we can. We are already a patriarch. We could, could become thoughtful. Or, yeah, prestige per night. Inspiring rule, powerful. Yeah, let's go for the Praetorian Guard. We'll get more prestige that way. Awakening. It is nightfall. An autocar is hard at work. And we arrive at the cereal fields south of Spitz. He appears to be flattening crops at a rapid pace. Using a large flat piece of wood and heavy stones, I frown as I watch the man performing his labor and inquire as to what exactly he's up to. He winces and starts on a long rant about how we all need to wake up and meet our true masters instead of hiding behind the false Christian teachings. I stick a, f stick a few steps back in surprise. Um, all right. How dare you defile Christianity? We could imprison him. Stop that, you heretic. Uh, we could imprison this guy. Uh, he's a maniac, yeah. How dare you defile Christianity? We picked him up. We picked him up. Who is excommunicated? Uh, Count Azo, yeah. Ah, he's already started in the preparation. Soon. Um, let's see if we can befriend someone. We're totally un unstressed. We could also try to slay a beast. Yeah, let's try that. Why not? It's not very likely, but hey. Um, why not try for it? Good prospects. Yeah. He decided he wanted to hunt a bison today. Yeah, back then, our bisons were all around in Europe, and they still are in Bielowice. Um, they have like a small population. Bielowice is like a forest in in Poland, and very very nice forest. Um, and they are still the old bisons. Aha! I stalk up to the bison. We're almost within striking distance. When Ludwig the Pilgrim whispers, now that we're finally alone, there's something I have to tell you about Prince Archbishop Michael. And I'll talk later, vassal. <laughs> Who we want to know? My vassal Count Siegfried is the first to spot the herd. Carefully putting the party into position, we descend on the bellowing beast, separating a worthy bull from the panicked group. Prince Archbishop Michael takes off after the beast, crying, Come, it's getting away! Let's go. A wonderful phrase. The children are once more at play at uh, the court, yeah, at the hunt probably, and today they are engaged with a toy source. Gilbert seems relentless with the other children, taking several of them at a time and besting them with ease. Among the usual screams of play, my ears suddenly perk up as he screams, May God heal the courageous knight, scum. Uh, is that, isn't that our motto? Yeah, because he's... Ah... Uh, uh, these words are for calling lips only. A fine phrase. Nah. He'll be more loyal, but we're the patriarch. That's only for calling lips. That's only. That's too much. We're cornering the bison. The exhausted, panicked animal has turned to bay. Struggling to stand and bellowing in panic, Prince Archbishop turns to us and, Mike turns to us and cries, Forwards party ended. We slowly surround it. Spares bristling. Bellowing beast the beast out of its misery. Ah, we, we achieved it. Take that. We slayed the beast. Wonderful. We get a bison horn. Look at that. Prestige, stress uh, reduction, and parochial vessel tax contribution. Inventory artifact. It gets uh, the Prince Archbishop Michael of Salzburg. Pure joy. Finish the hunt. Nice. Small harbor constructed in Radom. Where is it? Where is Radom now? I seize the magnificent spare. Oh, nice. How about the macabre scarecrow of Hodonin? As everything is happening at once. Strolling through the Hodonin countryside is not quite the peaceful lark I had imagined. The sky is black with clouds. The farmland fields are deathly silent. That is until we hear... um. Ear-wrenching wails of agony coming from deep within the fields. As we draw nearer, we find a man strung up on a post as if he were a scarecrow. He's the very image of crestly suffering, strung up on his farmyard crucifix. Some of the members of my entourage implore me to cut him down, but is it really my concern? The thoughtless Kubinsky, he's dull, wounded and one-legged, but he's a midst evil blackguard. 
He's clearly a criminal. I show mercy. We'll show mercy to him. Inspired. Does he have only one arm, though? No. He has only one leg. The man grovels pitifully at my feet, bloodying the soil with his hands. Soon members of my entourage hoist him onto his unsteady feet, pleading to hear how he came to be here. Oh, I was just here to collect taxes. The peasants told me the gold were buried out here, and before I knew it, they descended upon me and strung me up like a scarecrow. Intellect is clearly not his strength, but he offers me a small sum of wealth for my assistance regardless. Uh, do we want him to join us? He's clearly completely incompetent. Uh, I need no reward. I need no reward here. Yeah, what you did this, I mean... Okay, I mean, yeah. You know, if, if we needed money, yes, but we're, we're, we're the Kaiser. We're not going to take something from a lowly tax inspector like that. We want to do some good deed. And we're now going to go to the barony of Srebrenic and see what we can do there in the next episode. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you soon. Have a great time until then and happy gaming and maybe the empire of Bavaria is not yet big enough and we can support the other Carlings. Maybe taking down that guy of House Rorgonides one day. Have a great time until next time. Happy gaming. This is Manuel Khan signing out. See you soon. Have a great time until then.